What is up, guys? Bad Space up here, and uh, here's uh, part three of uh, Itix uh, painting challenge and that. And I got the dreadnought done. Don't he look awesome? I know he looks so amazing. He looks so much better than what he did before. Uh, I, I, I kind of had to 360 the shield, and uh, I decided to just have him as a long range unit. And that I, I also had a, a spare one of these laying around, and I. There you go. I, I mean, I spared one of these. I, I had a spare last cannon laying around and that, and I did that, and uh, um, I'm, I'm failing horribly at this. You guys, th this isn't it. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, c I can't troll you like this. The, no, no. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, Doyle, but you gotta sit, you gotta sit aside. Th this, this is my dreadnought right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I gotta still base this guy in that. I... I'm going to base him later date, along with the rest of the models, uh, because I got a bad space has got to find his uh, snow flock. I kind of misplaced it, and by misplaced it, I put it in a box. So, there's that. So, yeah, uh, I just, uh, I've been uh, playing around with all the different weapon options. I can't believe the magnetization worked. It worked! Mwah! Sorry. Uh, so, here he is. Don't he look sick? Don't he look awesome? Uh, I love how he looks. He looks like a beast. Uh, you're probably going to be seeing him. If I uh, do battle reports, you'll mostly see him with this. Which would lead me to uh, what's with uh, the weapons and that. Why they're not fully painted and that. I'm actually going to be painting them over the course. And here, I got a still a couple touch-up jobs on this guy. Like, I got to still finish doing his axe. But pretty much, he's all washed down and everything. Uh, I gotta keep to a time schedule, guys. So, yeah. And I've already, like, spent six days on this guy. No joke. Uh, from the 31st to today, working on him. The 31st, uh, trimming out everything and uh, getting everything kind of somewhat assembled and uh, magnetize uh, getting a lot of the stuff mag uh, prepped for magnetization and also doing some of the magnetizing. And then the first, well, you guys seen, and then onward. So, yeah. And I got a strict schedule to keep to in that because I've got over six models to paint, and one of them I know I'm going to spend like two to three days on. Literally. That's not just only over like hours a period. No, I mean, I'm going to be working days on this guy. So, yeah. There you, there you go. Um, so, that's him. He looks amazing. Uh, I don't know what else to say with him. And that uh, I will go over the colors that I used for all the models at the end of this. Uh, because I'm going to do a f big final showcase at the end of this to be able to show off all the models that I've painted up in that. Uh, not like uh, what I've finished up because I know there's going to be some stuff I got to do little touch ups on. But they're really not my, they're minute touches like uh, this for the assault cannon and the frost can uh, hell frost cannon. And uh, this uh, little underslung, yeah, this flamethrower needs a uh, paint job too. And this little minute, like I said, little minute stuff, stuff that's eh, not really big on my painting priority list. <clears throat> I can uh, work on when I'm wanting to have downtime and that from uh, painting up the rest of the stuff. So you will see all that at the end of this when I'm showing off everything it's gonna look awesome in that and I just want to have a side-to-side -side comparison just because this this dreadnought I painted up when I first started doing this hobby and here's the one I have now I kind of did uh, some differences here and there this one I kind of did a little bit of a wear and tear this one I'm not really gonna if I do any uh, wear effects in that I've uh, gotten I mean I was good at a dry brush before in that but I've gotten a little bit better at a uh, Doing it a little bit more delicately. I kind of did a little bit of a heavy thing. But you could see the you could see the complete differences here from here. So yeah. <laughs> I've come a long way, guys, and I can't get over how how far I've come. And that uh this span of time. So yeah. There you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I had fun painting this guy. And uh, next up will be the Thunderwolf Cavalry, and that, and uh, show a little bit of an update on those guys too.
because this is a showcase slash, well not showcase, showcase, but a show off and uh, all that stuff and update. Uh, these guys are still on sprue. I just finished him up a little bit ago, so I'm going to just trim off all these uh, wolves and that and start uh, building them and then dry brushing them and then painting uh, the, uh, the riders and going from there. So probably the next time you see these guys, they're pretty much going to be done, except for the like the riders and some of their weaponry, and that's just going to need a little tweaks in here and there. So probably a day or so, uh, probably a two to three day process. So there you guys have it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please comment, like, and sub. It's bad space will fear. Peace.